Hello everyone! The migration legislation changes all the time. Usually, major changes happen on the 1st of July. So, on the 1st of July 2022, there were many changes, but this video is just will focus on updates on graduate visa. It's just an overview. I will not tell you all the details, but just the key points. So the good news is the very first thing is that for graduate visa, graduate stream, skills assessment is no longer required because this takes time. Usually uh, we do applications for chefs, those students who have studied certificate three, four, and diploma of hospitality before we can lodge, um, we'd have to apply for a skills assessment with Trades Recognition Australia, TRA. But now you don't need to do that. So it's really just satisfying all the other criteria for the graduate visa, graduate stream, but you don't need to provide a skills assessment. Now, the skills list also do not apply anymore. So what it means is that it used to be the graduate stream is only limited for students whose roles when they graduate lead to the skills occupation list under the MLTSSL or the medium to long-term strategic skills list. So without that list, it means that if you have finished, say, Diploma of Mental Health or Diploma of Leadership and Management, if you satisfy the Australian study requirements and you satisfy all of the criteria for the graduate visa, then you can still be eligible for a graduate visa. So this is great news, isn't it? Um, great news for people who have studied courses that doesn't lead to the MLT SSL. Now, there are also changes for the post-study work stream. So there are extension options. The very first one is the replacement stream. So these are for people who have held or are holding a graduate visa, their first graduate visa, but they weren't able to maximize the use of their visa because they were affected um, by the pandemic, meaning they might have been granted and then went out of Australia, they weren't able to use it or applied when they were outside of Australia, but they really weren't able to use it while in Australia. So there's the replacement stream, that's one. Um, the good thing about it is that it will give you the same, well, more, it can be more, um, visa duration on the, sec on the replacement stream. So for example, you were given a graduate uh, for the graduate stream, it's 18 months um, visa duration, and in the replacement stream, it would be two years. So if you were granted, that's two years of visa duration. Um, if it's a master's degree, used to be it's just two years of visa under the post-study work stream, but under the replacement stream, you will be granted a three-year duration. Okay, so that's one, the replacement stream. That's one way of extending your graduate visa if you're affected by, impacted by the pandemic. And then there's also a way of getting another graduate visa post-study work stream if you have been living, stu you've studied living and working in a designated regional area or regional centers. So that's the second graduate visa that you can be eligible for. And then there's also the third one if you're coming from the replacement stream. So really it's all great news um, for students or for graduate visa holders. So we welcome this news. It means that um, you can have more options or you can have a longer stay in Australia if you're eligible um, for the graduate visa with this new legislation. But if you, it's hard for you to really understand or check whether you're eligible or not, we are here for you. Um, book in a session with myself or our other migration agent and um, we can discuss your case and let you know exactly what your options are.
Thank you. If you want a thorough discussion of your visa options in Australia, book in a consultation with our registered migration agents at www.bridgeos.com.au.